So I'm here with the Dingley winning coach Shane Moore. Shane, what do you think of that? Oh, I think it was a great game and a great game for the SFNL. It, uh, it shows the quality that uh, both clubs uh, possess and I think uh, all goes good for the uh, uh, rest of the season, I think, for both clubs. Two zip uh, heading into the bike, couldn't have asked for much more. Uh, very nice, better than 1-1, uh, but uh, no, I think the boys are quite sore after today's game. It was quite physical, but uh, at the same time there's a bit of running to get involved as well. So, um, so no, have a uh, two-week break, it's pretty nice, even though it sounds strange when we've only had two games, having a break, but I think most seasons have been the same. We play a couple and have a break and play a few more, and there's an interleague game and then play a couple more, and there's a Queen's Birthday weekend. So I think once we get through that period, I think... Um, I think most of the players will actually be quite settled physically as well. I think it gives a, an opportunity for players that have got some nigglies to have a week off. And uh, So I think it's probably a perfect lead into the, the bulk of the season, really. And how's the squad going as a whole? How's the team gelling at the moment? Uh, well, we've got a, a number of new players into the, into the squad, so they'll probably take six weeks, I think, before they sort of get all the systems and uh, setups and structures down pat. So, But otherwise, you know, they've... They've, um, I suppose, not blended in, but, but fitted in well to the culture around the club and, uh, and they've contributed to that, so that, that's applied. So I think that learning stage um, is probably restricted around about that six weeks period because of that fact. And Port Melbourne Colts challenge you for the majority of the day, really. Uh, were you in, um, happy with the way your boys responded? Oh, absolutely. They've got some quality uh, on ballers there. Uh, Big Ruckman and uh, DeLuca in the middle, So, but as well as others. Uh, I'm not sure of their names. Number 14, number one. Um, they're very good players and, and they move the ball quite well. So they like to link up in numbers and, and push to the contest in numbers. So if you don't control that, then you, you're in trouble. So I can see how they, uh, they got a hold of St Kilda City last week. And as you said before, a week off this week. Uh, what are you looking to improve on for the round three match? Uh, look, probably around our forward 50 entries. I don't think we're great at that. Um, we get a lot of opportunities, we go forward, but we we turn the ball over too much. So I think we'll just continue to work on that. And around the stoppages, I think I think our rucks did pretty well against the big big boy from Port Colts um, around the ground. I think in the middle of the middle of the ground, I think it was, it might end up pretty even, I think, with the numbers, but they certainly dominated early. Well, Shane, thank you for your time today. Uh, good luck for the rest of the season. Thanks, Lincoln. Thank you for that. Get your game face on.